Previously on Scavenger's Banquet. exactly uh no no it isn't <laughs> it's it's not march <laughs> although in fairness it could be march like has the year even happened has the year well i mean a hell of a lot's happened yes it has uh as you will remember from the flashback that i just edited in uh in a in the last episode we said we'd be back in march and then march 2020 happened yes and uh if you can understand what i'm saying right now You'll know what happened in March 2020 yeah. and uh, and April 2020 and May 2020 and all mm-hmm. that all that stuff that happened. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I think this is about the fourth time we've said this. We're back. Yeah. I think we'll just be back forever. Mm. Every episode it will just be guess what guys? It's us. We're back except we're planning on recording 3 today. So Yes. We'll, we'll see how that works out. Let's hope that actually happens. I mean, I named my notes for this Scavenger's Banquet the continuing revival. Because we've had about three. <laughs> we've had several revivals mm. for many reasons. Uh, most, well, I don't know about mostly, but a significant number involved my health. Yeah. Which is doing all right right now. Mm. Not perfect, but, you know, good enough to be doing this. I suppose that's another reason why this is coming so late as well, because despite lockdown having lifted a very long time ago, I kind of didn't want to kill Nick. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, yeah, my immune system is uh, medically compromised. Mm. Uh, and with a pandemic going around, uh, meeting with other people in an environment such as this, not the best idea, but I'm all right with it now. Yeah, genuinely, the last time I saw you was like outside of your house. And I just outside, stood outside on the other house. side of his car yeah, for like two, two hours. Two metres <laughs> apart. <laughs> government regulations, which mm-hmm. the government doesn't seem to be able to follow themselves. No. The government is uh, is breaking international law oh, in a mm. limited and specific way. Yes. I can, I can break the. I, I can do that as well. I could. I'm sure lots of people have said this before, but, you know, I can break international law in a limited, i.e. only killing one person, and specific, i.e. only killing one person. Mm -hmm. And, you know, by the government's logic, that's fine. (laughs) Anyway, uh, (laughs) this is season three of Scavenger's Banquet, and uh, our script says prophetic tweets. And by script, I mean... So uh, our it's bullet just, points, yeah, our bullet pointy mixed. guide, so prophetic tweets. This this is something that I've been having a great deal of fun with over the many months of this year. That just you know you've just been sat because my favorite thing to do is see when people make tweets like years ago, and they end up being like scarily accurate now. So like <laughs> a couple of examples that I had. Before you give those, <laughs> I just want to show my favourite tweet of all time, which is the exact opposite of this. Oh, is it? Which is uh, Boris Johnson at the beginning of January, who said, this is going to be a fantastic <laughs> year. year for Britain. Well, it's stuff like that. It's looking at it now. It's like, oh my God, <laughs> how could that have been so wrong? Mm. But the, these are the <laughs> things. I have one here that was someone um, posting about Last year, when it was Cats and Sonic, the Ooh. movie at the same time, and they were saying, um, I can't believe 2019 is going to be the year where we have Cats and Sonic in the cinemas at the same time. And someone else tweeted underneath this, 
bold of you to assume cinemas exist in the distant year of 2020. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Coming from right now, where cinemas have not been open for a very, very long time. Oh, no, no, that they, just, they, like, hit. They are open. They're just at very limited capacity. I did. Mm-hmm. I went and saw Tenet yeah. in the cinema. And there was basically no one else there, which yeah. is why Cineworld is basically shutting down yeah, now. Yeah, it's pretty much dead. <laughs> And there was another one that I quite liked. There's someone um, rocking up to Walmart in my Plague Doctor uniform looking for <laughs> pasta. That hits differently now because, you know... When was that from? 2016. <laughs> that was July 2016. That That's oh a fun God. one. It's, it's little things like that that I, I encourage you to try and find stuff like this of people tweeting like weird predictions of what they think the like dystopian future would have been like and pretty much all of them have been fulfilled in this <laughs> the lord's year of 2020 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i can't i can't find any more because as i was saying to nick yeah. before we started my organization on the internet is terrible i have so many things that? that i like to show people and I never like organize them that's well. a fat mood so like i can never find them basically <laughs> i i've downloaded literally thousands of memes mm-hmm. over the past few months. Yep. And there's just no organisation at all. It's all clogging up my phone. That's the thing. I used to, like, back in the day, back in the golden days of the internet, me in, like, 2014, I had a folder of pictures <laughs> on my laptop and Brilliant. they were organised by, like, meme type, like, settings. It was the best and I could find anything. If I had my laptop on me... You'd give me two seconds and there it would be, the meme. But now I don't have that. Mm. My laptop has no storage. Neither does mine. No. <laughs> First world problems. Mm. The next thing on our list is hypothetical. Mm. It's the return of Izzy's hypothetical. It is. And I've had a while. you had a while to think of them. Yeah. But for some reason, I'm not agreeing with them. But I think I think I found a good one Ooh. for Nick. Okay. Okay, so to set the scene, you are inside Buckingham Palace and your task is to describe to me how you would heist one of the Queen's vases or vases, <laughs> however you say vases. it, and get out without being detected. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so two things would be key here. Yes. Small vase, big distraction. Mm. Um, so I would have to I think find a way of remotely breaking something Mm. at the opposite end of the palace to draw all the attention over there find like a little sort of this isn't going to come well on come out well on the podcast but yay hi (laughs) Uh, you know, sort of. Um, I'm gonna say that's about like 15 centimeters. Yeah, like, like, like so ruler the, kind the, of vibe. The, 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 the size of a sort of one and a half liter bottle of Coke. Nice. Yeah, that kind of thing that I could just slip into my slip into my bag mm-hmm. without you know without it looking weird from the outside. Uh, so if, I, I I would need. I'm just wondering what resources are available to me. Am I? Am I? It's all you have with you. You've. This is the first time you've been in the palace as well, so you haven't been able to plant anything. Oh dear. Okay. You've you've got a bag, but they checked it on the way in. Uh, I've got a bag. Okay. Because like, it's Buckingham Palace. Let's be honest. I'm not a ridiculous secret agent with a bag full of gadgets. You are not. This is literally just you, Nick. Fine. Okay. This is really annoying. Hmm. Yeah, so you've I got couldn't... to set the challenge. You've got to make it mundane. Yeah. I need to... I would have some way of breaking something far while I'm far away from it. Mm-hmm. Which is tricky. It is. Um, but you can have mundane, non-threatening objects in your bag. Like... Yeah, but... <laughs> is there any way of loading a nerf gun you could some... have a ner- I'm going to say you could have a small nerf gun in your bag because it's, it's just yeah, a nerf but... gun they could check it it's foam yeah. you know but is there a way of loading it with something that isn't foam I mean 
so long as it's you know not like a metal or something i'm pretty mm. sure that would have been fine preload it before you get there like yeah, all they'll like, see like, is like, the I'll... little plastic gun they'll x-ray it you know it's buckingham palace and they'll say yeah that <sighs> that I, looks you, all you right know, if i could put a stone in there or mm. something just a little pebble or something yeah then sneakily i'll, I'll join a tour yes then while there's a lot of people by a window of just nerf, yeah, nerf pebble the window. No, you could get like a little skimming stone or something and just sort of... Tch. Yeah, I'd, like, I'd, <laughs> I, I want to I wanna make it as untraceable as possible. Yeah, that's right. And then while everyone's distracted by the broken window, I will sneak off, find a tiny vase, mm-hmm. pop it in my bag, and... Um, no one will be. Uh, n- no one will be any the wiser. Yeah, I'm kind of assuming goes. that they don't check your bag after you leave, unless <laughs> there has been a history of thefts. I don't mm. know nothing about the palace, but yeah. Um, so long as you're stealthy enough, I think it should be fine. Yeah, and, and then it would possibly involve finding another way out that mm. didn't involve the guards. Yeah, like finding the kitchen exit or something, mm. the service entrance. I'm just, uh, I, I'm, just, I'm imagining myself being a lot more smooth than I am. Mm. Yeah, we'll we'll say for the purpose of this hypothetical that you are suave as fuck. <laughs> like, well, it just just you know, you know, charming my way past all the mm-hmm. guards. Just like, oh no, don't don't worry, I, I, I don't I, mind you know, me. Yeah, and just bluffing my way mm-hmm. through through the whole thing and getting out with a vase. With a fancy vase, yeah. Mm. There you go. Yeah. The next item on our list is Headlines, which is a game I invented called Is This Headline Real or Fake? Uh, I have got three real ones and one fake one. Izzy has got three fake ones and one real one. Mm-hmm. We will read them out to each other and we will find the one that doesn't match. That's that's the game. That's the gist. I'll go first. <laughs> Excellent. So, the headlines are as follows. Baby's leg fell off in mum's hand and now he's lost all four limbs. Right. World's angriest man dies from heart failure. Mm-hmm. New Zealanders warned about the consumption of sexy pavement lichen. Cocaine in the River Thames is another problem eels don't, don't need, need okay, says I, expert. That one's real because I remember reading that and being like, what even is this? Bollocks. All right. Ha! <laughs> I go on the internet sometimes. <laughs> You're right. That one that is, is real. real. <clears throat> the rest of them, though, mother of God, this is going to be hard. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. While you're thinking, I'm gonna find the other two real ones so I can read you a bit more from them. I want to say the angry man one is real. I don't know why I want to say that, but I do. So I'm going to say that, and you're going to turn around and say that's the fake one now, aren't you? Your job is to find the fake one. If you want to rule out that one, <laughs> um, yeah, you've okay. still got two more. I'm scratching that one off the record. I don't. I think that's believable enough. So that leaves the sexy lichen and the baby. The baby's leg fell off. The arms and legs fallen off. I mean, okay, can I ask a supplementary question about yes. that? Did the baby have the rest of its limbs at the same time, or did it just have its arm or leg remaining and then that fell off? Or can you not answer? I that? cannot answer that one oh. because either it's bullshit, yeah, or I only had the headline from my, when I sent it to my friend ages ago, and I'm only just now yes, doing the research. Oh. I don't know. To me. That's the fake one. So you're going, you're going with the I baby. I think I'm going for the the limbs of the baby falling off. You're wrong. No, it's the world's angriest man. God, that's damn the it. fake one. God, so, damn, that was the only one that felt like it could have so been real. Baby's leg fell off in mum's hand, and now he's lost all four limbs. Uh, looking at his smile, you would think that Oliver Oliver Ace Thorpe does not have a care in the world. But six weeks ago, he almost lost his life as a result of contracting sepsis. Oh, God. Uh... <laughs> this is this is the kind of sentence which should not be funny, and yet it is. Okay. His sepsis, triggered by an undiagnosed throat infection, was so bad that his leg came off in her hand as she held him in his hospital bed. Oh, God. 
I am. <laughs> well then. Yeah. That's quite something. And uh, New Zealand has warned about the consumption of sexy pavement lichen. A common species of urban lichen is being promoted as a natural alternative to Viagra, much to the concern of scientists. Oh my god. Uh, botanists in New Zealand are warning, are warning the public not to consume lichen growing on footpaths and shady rocks throughout the country after misleading stories about its stimulatory properties oh spread rapidly online. Oh um, no. While it could have some properties that are similar to Viagra, it can also be somewhat toxic. Somewhat so, yeah. toxic? Yeah, so yeah, don't eat I don't don't, eat, don't lichen eat kiss. weird lichen that you just find mm. out in the world. Oh, I mean, I kind of can't believe that people wouldn't know that, but <laughs> fair. All right, I'm up then, Buttercup, aren't I? Yes. Right. So, three of these headlines are fake. <laughs> One of them is real. So, I'll start with. I'll start with this one. Tide debuts new sour apple detergent pods. The next. Something biblical is going on. Bible expert claims end of the world prophecy unfolds. School administration reminds female students bulletproof vests must cover midriff. <laughs> and finally, man just buying one of every cleaning product in case Trump announces its coronavirus cure. Right. Okay. So. I'm going to immediately rule out the one about the bulletproof vests. Mm -hmm. Because I don't, I don't think, um, I don't think any school would recommend people wear bulletproof vests at all. All right. Um, what was the first one again? Remind me. Sour apple tide pods. Sour apple tide pods. Mm. Now, I'm just thinking that you get some weird sense of washing up liquid. Yeah, you do actually. But washing tablets, I don't think you get flavours with the flavours, whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> I understand what you I mean. mean yeah, yes. But, but, but. I, no, t- that that that's that comes from the the Tide Pod challenge when people are eating it, and then mm. I don't think they would want to encourage it. So I don't think that one's real either. Right. Um, that so that leaves the Bible people and the idiot. <laughs> um, I Bible person. Bible person. So it's the end <laughs> yes, of world yeah, yeah, yeah. prophecy unfolds. End of the or... world prophecy unf- I mean, end of the world proph- prophecies are always unfolding, aren't they? So I can kind of believe that one's true. But then also people in America are very, very, very stupid. Mm. Mm. I think the end of the world one is true. Yeah, you are right. Hooray! Nearly had you there, though, with the man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they, those are some good fake headlines. Yeah, The Onion published that one in, like, early March. <laughs> which is great, because Trump didn't say maybe drink bleach until, like, <laughs> April, May. That's fantastic. So that was also that's, that's another... a little bit prophetic. Yeah. Bringing us full circle. That's another mm. fun one. Well done. The next thing on our list... Simply reads BuzzFeed. (laughs) Yeah, so this is me. I had the fun idea that I could torture Nick by making him do a bunch of really useless BuzzFeed quizzes. I I mean, I don't know about torture. I I have I have done. Yeah, you'd probably be chill with it. Yeah. So I found one. I would like to know which gemstone Nick is based on the vacation plan that he chooses. (laughs) Because I I just want to know what gemstone Nick is. To be honest, like what a. And what a fun way of finding out. <laughs> what an important question. Indeed. And what better way of finding out. Yeah. This also would give you a great insight on where Nick would like to go on holiday. This company <laughs> wants to be seen as a uh, as a reputable news source. Yes. <laughs> so, first question, Nick. Where are you going? Your options are London, Paris, New York, Los Angeles, 
Rio de Janeiro, or Orlando. <laughs> okay. Um. Mm, I, normal circumstances, I'd say Los Angeles, but that was just turned into a Blade Runner twenty Blade Runner twenty forty nine hellscape. Yes. By poorly managed fires. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you said Orlando, I was just imagined. I, I just remembered that bit from the Book of Mormon. Yeah, where literally. They all start every Orlando. time I say that word, that is what goes through my mind without fail. <laughs> I can hear it so clearly. Yeah. Honestly, I would have sung it if I knew my singing voice wasn't like cats dying. Cat, the cat, cats don't need to be dying to have bad singing voices, as Cats 2019 proved. Oh, oh got him! But um, got him. Oh, nicely done. Orlando's got Disney World, hasn't it? It does. Sea yeah, World and Disney and Putt Putt Golfing. Yeah, let's go Orlando. Orlando. Fuck it. All right. Now, you have to choose a suitcase. So I'm going to try and describe them. There's one that looks like really vintage like old style leather. One just, it's literally just a normal suitcase. <laughs> one of them is a cute pink one. One right. of them is like this nice bright sort of orangey red. Mm-hmm. Then you've got two sets of really boring looking one, but one of them is like, it looks like a quilted jacket on the Ooh. outside, but obviously it's hard. That is the best way of describing them. There, there is a there is a collection. Yes, of I was gonna, yeah. The suitcases. bottom one is a collection bottom of really collection boring of looking suitcases. And one of them's got a guitar next to them for yes. some reason. Yeah, that's the red one. I'm not really sure um, what the guitar's doing there. Well, it's like the little vintage looking one. It I... has to have a film camera on top of it to show mm. that it's old style. Yes. Middle left. So the quilted one, yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. I know my left from my right. It's fine. <laughs> I'm 21 years old, it's fine. <laughs> right, so how long is your vacation going to be, Nick? Mm. Three days, one week, two weeks, a month... Two months? Two or months? Or three months? Oh my god, who goes on holiday for more than two weeks? You'd have to you'd have to sort of change locations I mean, a couple of times, two, wouldn't well, you? I couldn't I, stay yeah. in one place for that long. So it's either one or two weeks. I think if you're going going all the way to Yeah, if you're going to Orlando, Orlando it's gotta be two weeks. Yeah, maybe. you've gotta get everything in, haven't you? Mm. <laughs> this is a fun one. Oh god. How are you getting there? <laughs> So, I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty sure we can rule out train. Yep, So there is no train from Guildford to America. Yep, so the rest of it is aeroplane. Probably that one. Car, car, care. <laughs> I don't know why I was going to say care. Right, car. Cruise ship, yacht, or bus? Plane. I also wouldn't want to go on a bus, I'm going to lie. A plane. It's yeah, you go on a plane, one. yeah. Okay. What is this? This is fun as well. What's the first thing that you're going to do when you arrive? And the first option is nap. Okay, so... I mean, that's a strong start. It is a very strong start. I'm not going to lie, the time difference will probably make that very intriguing. Right, so you can nap. You can go sightseeing. You can shop. You can eat. Play a game. Or watch TV. Uh, Would you like to play a game, Nick? <laughs> I want to play a game. It's not a very good jigsaw voice, but you get the idea. No, I have no idea what jigsaw voice is like. I'm not going to watch this. Me neither. Um, it's just like, um, oh, I don't know. Hello. Honestly. Welcome. Welcome to this horrible old house. For some reason not, in my not, head, the voice would good. be so much more high-pitched. I don't know why well, it's I because, thought that. It's because when you think of him, you think of the weird little puppet guy. Yeah, which yeah. Which is very small, but it's just some old dude. Oh, fair. Yeah, the, uh, the, the, the the backstory of the Saw films is ridiculous. Like, it's, it's, there's, there's like two really contrived coincidences and misunderstandings mm. involved in how he manages to... Like, like, he's shown to die in the third film okay. and somehow there are eight of them. <laughs> okay. Because like, I, I can't even. I haven't. I haven't actually seen any of them. I'm just going this, from what I picked read up the on synopsis the or something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go, yeah, going from what I picked up on the internet. So like, and all, and you know, the, the, 
<laughs> just, it's literally just an excuse to have loads of weird, horrible traps put on screen. Yeah. yeah. That is the gist yeah. of it, really, isn't it? <laughs> but anyway, Nick, Nick what are you going to well, do that, when that, you arrive on I'm holiday? I'm probably going to have a nap. Yeah. I would. I don't know about I, that's, you. That's, I think, I think um, in a future episode we could do, is this saw trap real or fake? Oh, yeah, I'd but, be down for that. Yeah. But, but I think because I already know a lot of them. Most it would, they would mostly me. just be at me. Yeah. Uh, so what's the next question? Okay. Lastly, Ooh. pick a souvenir. So jewellery, a t-shirt, a coffee mug, sweets, a snow globe, or a book. So jewellery, no. Yeah, Just because no. of the, the, the way I am. Sweets, no, because you want to actually keep a souvenir and not eat them. Exactly. Uh, t-shirt and mug are promising. Mm-hmm. <sighs> t-shirt. I, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. I don't know why you'd want to buy a book as well, because you buy that everywhere. Actually, it would be a custom-built lightsaber from the Star Wars section yes. of mm-hmm. Disney World. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is a fair... Okay. Nick, mm-hmm. are you ready? I am ready. Can I have a drum roll, please? Nick, you are an opal. Ooh. Oh, wow. I'll put a cheering noise on Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll... That's good fun. I'll, put, I'll, I'll either have, like, ridiculously over-the-top crowd or just, like, a small group of children going, No, Yay! just have a... <laughs> That is a good picture of an opal. It is a really nice opal in mm. that picture, actually. That's like, that's class. And mm. I watch opal outback hunters, so. <laughs> so you would know. I'm a pro. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the, one of the things in lockdown was terrible daytime TV, and I got super into it. <sighs> I, I, and we're just I, mining for those opals, man. I, I was forced, not forced. I sat, some, the other people in my house uh, put on a whole week of come dine with me just Ooh. back to back back to back no adverts so it was just like just over an hour no probably closer to two hours but still just wall to wall come dine with me Ooh, that's intense and yeah, it's not 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 great no i'll be honest I, I just like that one come dine with me where that guy is like a really bad loser mm. he just Oh, that's funny. Anyway, so the description of you, Nick, is you're a passionate person who loves with your whole heart. Mm. You're a loyal friend and would do anything for the people you care about. You dream of finding true love and living a happy life. Why Why does that holiday tell them that? What, what, a, why does that holiday tell them that? And B, why is that so vague? Well, yeah. because it, it's A, because they want as many people as possible to relate to it. And it's just, it's got to make it vague enough that it could apply to literally anyone. There were genuinely like six questions and and that's that's it. But yeah, yeah. Nick is an opal. Have you got if, have you got any more BuzzFeed quizzes? I mean, I do. I think but it's twilight themed. <laughs> oh. Yeah, go for it. I think weirdly I think that's what my birthstone is as though that actually is it? matters. Oh, that's a bit spooky actually. Is it genuinely your birthday? Uh, yeah, the, the, the birthstone of October is opals, or alternatively, tourmaline, whatever the fuck that is. Ew, what is that? Uh, oh, that's good fun, actually. That's uh, <laughs> so there are, there are two birthstones. Well, the, 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 the first question on Google is, why are there two birthstones for October? Mm-hmm. In October's case, the opal was seen by many to be too feminine in appearance, and there were questions about its durability. So okay. the association, whatever that is, decided to add <laughs> tourmaline to the mix. Amazing. Yeah, sorry, Nick, you're mm. too feminine of a gemstone to mm. to just have the one. <laughs> Got... What is tourmaline? Yeah, really, what is it? I've literally never heard of this. Uh, it's a crystalline... A, cr- a crystalline boron silicate mineral compounded with elements such as aluminium, iron, magnesium, sodium, lithium, or potassium. And it looks like Ooh, that. It's, okay. it's, a, it's a weird pink to yellow to green gradient. Have you ever seen on one of those Mini Coopers that has one of those like colour wraps that's like, from yes. one angle it's blue and yes. from the other it's purple? Yes. If you look at it dead centre, it's like this hideous... like Iridescent. Brown. That's the yeah. one. That is what it reminds me of. Mm. I don't know why. It, I've only ever seen that like colour on Mini mm. Coopers in my life. It definitely probably exists on other cars, but... Okay. So, um... Twilight themed. Yeah, so, uh... I, I have... 
also fairly recently I have sat through all no not all of them no you're gonna have to come back to that in the I, other episode okay, because fair I, I, that's the reason I want to bring it up fair so enough. no don't go there yet I won't go there yet yet okay so this is create your dream bedroom Ooh. and BuzzFeed will tell you which Twilight character you are <laughs> so, okay so the first question is pick a bed <laughs> so uh, there's a bunch of beds yep well they're all pretty just nondescript actually mm. They, yeah. Oh, they are all very normal. They're aren't all they? just sort of oh white God, or beige beds. They're like, they're so is... normal. One what? of them has blue pillows on it, and genuinely, that's about as exciting like, as it gets. Top left. Top. That... The one with the blue pillows, right? Sure, yeah. The, that's... One, the only exciting bed there. I mean, it's not even exciting, is it? No, it's it's not... just different. And... Okay. So this one is uh, <laughs> pick the colour for your sheets. So you've got pink. No. You've got like a lovely, sort of like rich blue. Oh. That's quite nice. You've got yellow, by the looks of it. <laughs> yellow question mark. Okay. <laughs> well, it's because it's got like a strip of blue and a strip of orange at the Ooh. top. But I feel like that's not actually part of the duvet. Fair anyway, enough. you've got just dark grey. Yeah. White. And you've got this really nice teal colour mm. as well. I know so, which two I'd be trying to decide between. And it's the only two colours I described nicely. I mean, <laughs> the yellow question mark. That, Isn't actually that, that has, bad? It has a whole room to go with it. Yeah, and it looks I mean, like quite a nice yeah, room. On the, the in the picture, them... you can only see like a slither of this bed. So yeah, that is a nice blue. Gotta be honest. It's ri- the deep blue at the top is Ooh. like gorgeous. I think I might have to go with that uh, one. I would if I were you. Like <laughs> I'd go for that. Well, you, to be honest, I would have picked the same things as you so God, far. I, so. I just... If you don't stray from what I'd go oh, for, yeah. we'll have the, the same Twilight character. Mm. Okay. Pick some pillows for decoration, Nick. The first I, one... I mm, fundamentally disagree with the notion of decorative pillows, but So do on. I, yeah. But the first... Okay, the first one is like a granny pillow with, like, flowers around the outside saying, life is full of surprises. Oh, yeah, they're usually bad surprises, <laughs> like an unexpected chronic illness. Yes. Dabs. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the second one is this cute one with little cactuses on there, you know? Yep. Um, the third one is white with a bunch of, like, hideous thick tassels on the side. Oh. And you've got some nice blue... Blue... It's, it's got dark blue, normal blue, russet red and grey, <laughs> all as, like, a combination. And one of the blue ones has love in, in nice script. Then you've got sort of like an art deco green one with like gold stitching. Yes, I feel as very though, Gatsby. I feel as though I'm not the target audience for this particular Buzzfeed. I quiz. don't think you are, but you're doing it anyway. So, <laughs> and then you've got the last one is a very nice painted deer, and mm. then the caption "Oh dear," you know. Of course, you know uh, how it's spelt as well. You're yeah. There. Everyone knows. Life is full of surprises. surprises. It's so hideous though. That oh is such God. a grandma pillow. Yeah. Like bottom left, the one that's the, the Art Deco Gatsby the, the, cushion. The least hideous one. Alrighty, now Nick, pick a colour for your walls. Oh, it's grey, white, black, yellow, pink, or blue. I don't know why you go for black walls, if I'm honest. Blue. That is never a good idea. It just reminded me of... One black do, wall, maybe. Do you remember the show Sorry, I've Got No Head? I do, yes! There was a series of sketches where, uh, with, you know, a clearly 40-year-old man mm-hmm. pretending to be an emo child. Ah, classic. And just, so what colour do you want the walls painted in here? Black. <laughs> Good times. Okay. The next question is... Um, oh God, there's more. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a... It keeps going. It's a lengthy one. It, it really is, actually. Um, right, so pick a desk to study at, Nick. Oh, God. So you've got a, a normal desk, a wooden desk, a funky-looking grey desk, a, one with cute drawers, <laughs> a, and a pink one, basically. Oh, dear. A um, bunch of average at best they desks. They uh, middle left. That looks... The best. Yeah, yeah, that's quite sleek. Mm. I wish you could see these guys. They're all so you can, nondescript. You can, you can see. Well, yeah, them. just go on Buzzfeed. Just go on Buzzfeed and find the find these quizzes. Okay, so now Nick, you have to pick something to decorate your desk with. Oh God, you can put on plants, flowers, books, 
a calendar, pictures of friends and family, or prints. What a... Okay. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> that is also not a great not set. not really a calendar, is it? No, yeah, that picture of a calendar is it's, it's, it's ridiculous. More, it's more... So, so when I when when I think of a calendar, I think of it shows you the whole month and there's yes. all the all the squares of dates on it, so you can write right down the thing. That's more of a very very slow long term clock. That's that a hipster just, calendar that just tells you what day it is. Mm-hmm. <coughs> yeah, it's pretty. Well, yeah. <sighs> pictures of pictures of friends and family. No. <laughs> Plants, maybe. Flowers, no. Books, no. I think it's going to have to be plants. Okay, yeah. There's a little cactus as the picture, and that's mm. quite cute, you know. All right. Mick, pick something to hang on your walls. Oh, God. Uh, it, it just doesn't uh, end, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay, you can have a wall mirror, old records, photos. A wall mirror, just... Oh, is, yeah, a, just a mirror, yeah. A, a, a we wall don't mirror need to, go through those. to, we, to oh, rule out the possibility that you're a vampire. It really doesn't stop. Okay. Pick a nightstand. I'm going oh, to recommend I, you pick the exact well, same photo as the bed. Oh, that because is the that's exact same. Because that's a nightstand. Yeah, it, it, that's the exact same photo from before. I didn't actually really pick a mirror. And I, I, I go go back because I was just mentioning the mirror. I didn't actually... Oh, your other options were like a flag and hanging lights. Oh my god! I'm fairly sure the mirror is the best bet. Then I, I, I would say art. Oh, all right. He's gonna go for art because it's more interesting than just me. Fair. All right. So yeah, you've got to pick a nightstand now. Um, from a bunch of from a bunch of again very very normal and boring yeah, ones. Average looking nightstands. Oh my god, they're so dull. <laughs> they really are. I mean, this is the I, blandest like, quiz ever. It's not. It's not even that they're bland in and of themselves. They're all just quite similar Same to me. each other. Oh, pff, middle left again, because that one's actually got... Yeah, it's a nice got, blue colour, It's, color, it's got know. drawers as well, which oh my are God. useful. Drawers are useful. This, I think this is the last question, because oh. it says, Finally, ah. pick some storage shelves to hold your knickknacks. <sighs> and there you go. It's a bunch of... Pretty samey looking shelves, Nick. Yeah, those are all very samey looking. There's, <sighs> there's kind of I'm a funky say, one that's once, like got... once again. I'm going to say middle left because it looks like there could be a secret room behind them. You yeah. pull a book and a section revolves. Yeah, that's like a very sort of you know in the films where it's just a, a wall covered in books. That is what that looks like. Ah, oh, Nick. Oh, oh, I've got. Oh dear, I've got eight D and D books at this point. I'm just noticing that. <sighs> How much money have I spent on those? Mm. Yeah, your bookshelf is. Oh. reasonably bare in the sense that you have all the D&D books I've on got... the bottom shelf and then four sort of normal, normal books. sized books yeah. and, and which... it's a pretty big bookshelf no, I'll just I, say no, that yeah none of which I have read all the way through mm. Ooh. oh oh yeah. oh that, okay that anyway. hurts me a little bit inside yeah anyway. I know <laughs> you are Edward Cullen oh of course I am <laughs> Just like Edward, you're an old soul. You love music, <laughs> movies, and clothes from past decades and think that the rise of social media is a little annoying. <laughs> right, It's like yes, the anti-Nick. Yes, yes. Who, mm. would, who would think that... Who, who, who doing a BuzzFeed quiz would yes. think that the rise of social media is annoying? Yeah, I'm sorry. I but... do like music and movies. You do, yes. But clothes from, from past, past decades. decades i don't know about that yeah i walked in and he actually had to change out of his waistcoat so <laughs> yeah no that's uh, no. yeah um mm. so yeah that's... yeah it could be worse i suppose it definitely could yeah and uh like we have now we have now been recording for quite some considerable <laughs> time so I think it's time to call it on this mm. particular episode of Scavenger's Banquet. Well, uh, it's nice to be back. It anyway. is nice to be back. And it's not it's not the end of this recording session. We've got at least one more to do. Mm -hmm. if we can, and possibly two. Probably two. Hopefully two. You'll uh, see. We can, we can now say with confidence that the <laughs> next episode will come out shortly after this one. <laughs> For once. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>